So today I'm talking about a P0758 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0758 code? Well, it's a shift solenoid B electrical. And what does this mean? Well, transmissions can have a lot of solenoids built into them. And one of these solenoids is called shift solenoid B, which usually is a solenoid that allows the transmission to shift between second and third gear. And the computer's seeing some kind of problem with this solenoid, mainly some kind of electrical issue. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what are some possible causes of a P0758 code? Well, the first thing to go and do whenever you have any transmission problems really is go check your transmission fluid and be sure it's at the correct level. Be sure it's not low or extremely dirty or anything like this because low or really dirty transmission fluid can't cause issues. It can cause transmissions to do strange things. Some newer vehicles no longer allow you to check the transmission fluid at all being closed. There won't be no dipstick, but if you can go check the transmission fluid, be sure it's at the correct level and that it's not really super dirty or anything like this. The next thing that could cause this is a bad shift solenoid B or the wiring going to the shift solenoid. If there's any kind of issue inside that wiring or anything like that, then that's going to cause issues. The location of that shift solenoid B is really going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the transmission, different things like this. So if you do go to work on your vehicle, you will need to get a diagram where everything's located and what's going on with it, because it's really going to vary. It's just going to depend on the vehicle. Once you locate that shift solenoid B, there's a few different ways you go about troubleshooting it. You can check to see and be sure that you're getting voltages and things like this. You can also use a multimeter to test that shift solenoid B. The basics of how you go about testing one of those shift solenoids is that you look up what the rated ohms are supposed to be for that specific solenoid. Since again, there can be differences. So you go look up what the rated ohms are for that specific shift solenoid. And then you use a multimeter, you set it to ohms, and you check to see what it is. And if it goes outside of this range, then you know it's bad and you know it needs to be replaced. So you can test that shift solenoid to check to see if it's failed. You can also test and check out the electrical. You can check to see if you're getting the correct voltage down to that solenoid and different things like this. Because the next thing that could cause this is a bad shift solenoid B or the wiring going to it. And the next thing that could cause this problem is that there's some kind of transmission failure going on inside the transmission. And it's going to be something like a bad pump, a blocked passage, a bad valve body, or something like this. Basically anything that would interrupt that shift solenoid B from working properly, even though this is pointing more to an electrical issue than a transmission or mechanical problem. Very likely it's going to be some kind of issue with the solenoid or some kind of issue inside the wiring. But it is possible that there's some kind of issue going on in the transmission that's just stopping that shift solenoid from working properly or something along these lines. So the next thing that could cause this is some kind of transmission failure. And the next thing on the list is going to be a bad computer, like a bad transmission control module or a bad powertrain control module or something like this. Even though, again, this isn't going to be too common, very likely it's some kind of other issue going on with that shift solenoid itself or in the wiring. But it is possible that something's gone wrong with the computer, that the computer's having some kind of issue going on with it. If you do think there's some kind of issue with the computer, be sure that your battery's good, that the alternator's charging correctly, that it's not too low or too high. Because all these computers, they all need a good, stable power supply or it can throw them off and just cause them to do weird things and cause issues. All the computers also need a good ground wire going to them or that can also throw them off and cause issues. So if you do think it's a computer issue, be sure that the power supply going to the computer is good. But like I said, it is fairly rare for some kind of issue to go on with the computer, but it does happen sometimes. So the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0758 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.